excelling, right? Uh, early this morning, I was observing a class, and, and uh, they're having a discussion on how to how to tailor fit an offer, uh, depending on on the type of customers, right? So uh, they have these three scenarios where they have to sell well, their products, right, to to a customer. So they have like a, a, a low price product. You have the uh, regularly price, regular price product, or fairly priced product, right? And then they have the, well, the luxury brand, the expensive product. All right. So the all these three products, uh, same as like all products, regular price products, they probably have all the uh, enough features that a customer needs, right? The uh, inexpensive product, they have less features compared to the regular product. That's why they're a little inexpensive. And then of course. The, well, we have the uh, expensive products or the, uh, the the top of the line so the, these these products have all the features plus more uh, of the regular product right so the scenarios they have like three different types of customers uh, you have the uh, the frequent traveler right uh, you have the uh, the single mom with two kids and you have a tourist so on all these three scenarios Right when when we uh, listen to when I listen to uh, what what kind of products they offer, right? Uh, one group, what they did, they uh, asked. Well, they, they they presented all three products, all its features, all its benefits. So naturally, it took like a, a very long time, right? In, in real life scenario, right? You only have like it's you only have about two or three minutes to get the customer's attention and buy in. Any, anything longer than that, it's just going to be a question and answer fortune, right? Customer will always ask, what's the difference between this and that? Uh, what's the advantage of this? Is it fairly priced? Is it worth it, right? Now, how about the expensive one? Well, what's the difference and all that stuff? So what's going to happen, customer will be asking you a lot of questions and, and you'll be tasked to answer all of those questions. Mo most likely, you will lose the sale. Right, all, both of both of you, uh, you and the customer will both be tired at the same time. Yeah, uh, at the end of the day, what's going to happen? Customer will think about it. Right, I heard too many things, uh, too, too many things to wait. Right, uh, so it's not going to work. Right, the, uh, some of the other groups, right, on all three scenarios, for for some reason they decided to just offer the the regular price products. Right. I guess they, they, they plan to just make it safe. So uh, during the discussion, uh, they, they mentioned it's the, the need versus want. Right? The, they just simply focused on what the customer need. So the, the customer need, uh, well, just enough. So they, they just offer the regular price. They, they feel like the, uh, the expensive ones it, it does not fit, especially for the mom with two kids. Right? So I, I told them, all right, what if, right, you are the customer, yeah, and you went to a store, like let's say uh, a, a watch store, right? You know how these watch stores, they have like an aisle for the expensive products for their luxury brands, right? They have the uh, top of the line Rolex, they have Tag Heuer, they have Britling, they have like all those expensive brands. Right on the middle aisle, they probably have Seiko. They'll probably have a Casio, right, and all the other likes. And 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 the inexpensive brands, you'll find the uh, the one dollar watches. You know those those watches that you can use for just like a couple of months, and then the the color fades away, right? Uh, the the unbranded watches, right? So if you're the customer and you got into a store, and then of course the sales clerk welcomes you, right? Hey, good morning. What, what do you need? And you say, oh, I need a watch. And then they directly led you to the uh, the regular priced aisle, right? How would you feel? Now, if they are a customer, if you're a customer, how would you feel, right? And then they realized that's not gonna that that that, that doesn't feel right, right? And I asked them. Well, if I'm the sales clerk and I ask you the moment you come into my door, hey, welcome to our shop, right? Ooh, anything else? Anything I can help you with? And then you say, I want to buy a watch, and I'll lead you to the expensive aisle. All right, so these are like brand new watches, right? These are the latest edition, right? Uh, here's the Luminox, here's the Rolex, right? Both both are good watches and and all that stuff, right? How would you feel? 
regardless of what you're wearing let's say you're just wearing a, a tank top right uh, a tattered shorts a pair of slippers but I will always lead my customer to the to the expensive aisle right give them the VIP treatment right have them probably well, wear those watches to to test how it feels to wear those watches on their on their wrist right because if I'm the customer that, that's exactly what I want right I know I need a watch to tell me the time but I read what I really want is to test out the best products that you have yeah, you guys agree all right so you recognize the need right but what you sell is what they want same as let's say I go to a, uh, uh, a well a used car shop or a lot right if I go to a lot I probably tell the uh, the salesperson I need a car right I want the salesperson to tell me hey man you're in the right place we just had new stocks sports cars SUVs let's go ahead and take a look right that's what I want to hear right even though I don't have the budget I want to be treated as if I do have a budget I, I am the VIP I want to test drive those SUVs right and most likely I'd ask how much that SUV cost now if it's really far from my budget I'd probably tell the customer yeah, but maybe for now I'd go for a sedan right but I will buy you see where I'm going to all right all right well if you well if you agree with me right leave a comment right and if you don't uh, agree with me also leave a comment let me know what you think let me know what would work for you right so I, I'm leaving this discussion for for now we're gonna talk more about need versus wants right now uh, when I was starting selling right I, I there there is this one uh, well selling icon right Zig Ziglar if you've heard about him well he was the, the first well, salesman that I truly appreciate that I, I, I hats off to the, to that guy why well, right uh, he's the first person that I, I've heard saying need based selling is that right all the while we were always taught that you you sell on the need not on the want. But the moment I heard Zig Ziglar mentioned need based selling is that you sell on what the customer wants I was like oh man it, it blew my mind right and then I realized he's right right you need to recognize the need but you sell on what they want all right so on my next videos we'll talk more about that one on how to properly position sales choice closing right uh, we'll talk more about the need versus one uh, well scenarios right uh, uh, on how to properly sell so uh, watch for the my, my other videos talking about selling right selling on what the customer wants and not on what they on, on, on just what they need all right so for now I'll leave it at this so stay tuned please don't forget to click on subscribe uh, click on like if, 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 if you like